So what is going on everybody? Today hey, we got some pretty cool news. Um, I think a lot of you guys might actually enjoy this one. Um, they talk about Project Resolve PTS Phase 2 um, developer notes. Some small changes or big changes that they're going to do that they heard and they said they listened to what the feedback was. So let's talk about it. it. says, hello agents. We are immensely grateful for all the feedback we received following Phase 2 of TU20 and Project Resolve PTS. And we want to share our findings and next steps based on the experience of the PTS. Now, I believe the PTS is scheduled to come out February 6th. Um, no confirmed date that I've seen just yet, but I believe that is the scheduled date, but we'll have to see because that's when the last season ends. So we should get season three on that date. Now, weapon and talents, this is something that they really focused on in this little bl blurb article that they had right it says behind you talent seems a bit too strong a lot of people had voiced that um and then they said starting in tu20 behind you talent will be exclusive to rifles and marksman rifles so no longer can you get this on assault rifles um smgs pistols anything like that so it's going to be exclusive to rifles and mmrs um, the change was made to align with the intended design as its wider availability on the PTS was unintended. So they never intended for this talent to be available on anything besides rifles and marksman rifles, but it happened to come out on the PTS, so they left it to test it out, and they realized it's exactly what they thought it would do, um, so, they so they considered it a bug. We decided to limit the use of the talent to the MMR and rifles only due to the talent being too strong paired with some other weapons. Additionally, Stating, um, starting with TU20 release, the amplified damage will decrease from 40 to 15% for the behind you and from 60% to 20% for perfectly behind you. So the adjusted, um, the adjustment in value is intended to align with the original intended behavior. The um, current implementation of the talent creates an imbalance partially in how amplified damage calculates damage compared to weapon damage. The initial values of 40% and 60% were sustainable for weapon damage. So they wanted this talent to be weapon damage and not amplified weapon damage. And it says the initial values of 40% and 60% were sustainable for weapon damage, but not compatible with amplified damage. To address this, we have adjusted the values to ensure that amplified damage functions as intended. So they dropped it down. So 20% for perfectly and 15% for regular. Now, the Ortiz Assault Interface Talent, starting in TU20 release, the amplified damage will decrease from 75% to 40% for highlighted body sections. So, it looks like the amplified damage will stay with the Ortiz Assault Interface Talent, but it's going to decrease from 75% to 40% for the highlighted body section. Now, um, localization update will be released with TU20.1. Now, the gear, rugged gauntlets. A lot of you guys say, what are you going to use these for? Um, they said exotic go um, gloves felt underwhelming. Initially, the intended was for the iron grip talent to give stability and accuracy bonus. However, a bug caused the accuracy bonus to malfunction, um, resulting in the gloves feeling underpowered on the PTS. We have since resolved this issue, and the gloves should now function as originally intended with both stability and accuracy bonuses. I'm going to have to see this because I really didn't see any reason to run these, but if it creates some really good accuracy and stability bonuses and you can use it on some of those other weapons that have crazy um, recoil, maybe it would be good. But again, I guess we just have to wait for the update. Hunter's Fury, the three piece bonus was changed from plus 100% health, health on kill to 50% health on kill. I don't know why they changed that, but hey. The adjustment is implemented to maintain a sense of balance considering the introduction of additional health bonuses on brand sets and a result that the viability of health on kill is also enhanced. Now, I don't know. I, I guess we have to wait to see how strong health will be in the new update. And obviously, maybe it makes sense. But again, at the moment, if it was in this update, I'd be like, why would they do that? But we'll see what happens with the new update. Um, the Vindicator locked behind Descent. They said concurrently the plan is for it to be exclusively available in Descent. This might change over time. So at the moment, guys, you need to get it from Descent. And then after that, I think it's like, what, 320 credits? I we have to go back and check. Gear Lock, a big hot topic that has been going on. A lot of people very upset about this. This is in the PTS Phase 2. We initially took 
a more extensive approach to this topic. Before your feedback, we have reconsidered and returned to the drawing board for this. Following the launch of TU20, gear lock will continue to function in the same manner as, as it did in TU19. So no gear lock, it's gonna function the same way tier, TU19 works as it does in TU20. However, we maintain a positive perspective as the inclusive of gear lock and recognize its importance in conflict. That said, we're actively reintroducing it behind spawn areas exclusively in conflict only starting in TU 20.1. So once TU 20 drops, then TU 20.1 will drop and then um, gear lock will happen in conflict, but in no other areas, I guess it will work the same as it is currently working. And I just thank you again for participating in phase two of TU 20 PTS. Please do not um, keep your thoughts. Oh, sorry, it says, please do keep your thoughts coming as the community feedback has always been helpful to us and making the necessary adjustments to the upcoming content. So guys, go to the Discord put your comments and get in there. Now, they did say that the patch notes is pretty long for this new update. Um, the community developer is working on it. So I believe it'll probably drop prior to the update, maybe tomorrow, maybe, maybe Friday, maybe Monday morning, as obviously we believe, I, b I believe, I haven't seen an official February 6th post anywhere in case they have to delay it but I, I believe tuesday it should come out so let me know what you guys think about these changes right here hey um i think they made some good changes i believe that this behind you talent was going to be a little bit broken um but i do like it still on rifles and marksman rifles and that's what i was going to plan on using it it's going to be as a secondary have it on there any rogue agents start taking off switch to my rifle boom and then hopefully you can drop them but We'll see what happens. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, ain't nothing but skills out.